Okay, so let's take a look at the particle systems inside Cocos 2D Python. So I have prepared here a scene just to demonstrate how the particles are look like in Cocos. So we have these fireworks, um, this meteor, this uh, galaxy, this spiral, smoke particles, fire particles, a sun-like particle, and also here was an explosion. So I'm going to rerun. Here you can see the explosion. So here I created a layer and I'm just set at P1, P2 until P9 and these are the particles which are coming uh, with Cocos 2D and here I'm setting the auto remove on finish to true so when the particle animation finishes it will automatically remove it and also I'm setting here their positions and I'm adding all of these particles to the layer so I prepared here an empty scene here I'm going to write just a simple application uh, which when I press the space key, it will just uh, play um, the particles, the animations. So when I press first the space key, it will it will play the um, I don't know the fireworks particle, and when I press it again, it will play the explosion particle, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to create here a class and it, its name will be particle layer and this will inherit from the cocos.layer that layer and let's create the initializer so in it and also call the super classes in it okay so yeah i have forgot here a colon so the next thing i'm going to set this layer as event handler so is event handler equals true and I'm going to create particle list self dot particle list particle list okay yes first of all I'm going to import from uh, cocos that particle systems import all so this line will import all the predefined particle effects like fireworks explosion fire flower and so on so and into this particle list i'm going to just add the fireworks uh, the explosion explosion uh, the fire fire also the flower flower uh, the sun mm, the spiral the meteor meteor uh, the galaxy the galaxy and the uh, smoke okay so I'm just adding 
these uh, without the brackets so I'm going to instantiate these objects later and I'm also going to add just a counter so counter which will be equal to zero so now let's define the on key press event so on uh, I mean on key underscore press and the symbol and the modifiers so and I'm going to ask if the symbol is equal to the key that space yes I also need to import this key from Pyglet so from Pyglet that uh, window import uh, key yeah so from pilot that window import key so when the space key is pressed the first thing I'm going to do is create a particle here particle object and will be the self that particle list particle list at index self that counter self that counter and also we need to invoke these classes so like a function so I'm going to add here two parentheses so particle will be self that particle list at index self that counter which is which is zero so it will the particle at the first uh, time it will be the fireworks and with this parenthesis I'm also going to run uh, this fireworks so it will instantiate an object from this fireworks and also set the particles uh, uh, auto remove on finish so auto remove on finish equal to true and its position so particle that position and it will be at 640 on x and 400 on y and i'm going to add to the layer the particle and also going to increment the self that counter by one so self that counter plus equals one so the next time i'm going to press the space key it will select the self that counter will be one so it will select the explosion particle and i'm also going to add here a check if uh, self dot counter if it is bigger than eight then i'm going to reset it to zero so self dot counter equals zero so will start 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and when it is 8 or bigger than 8 I mean bigger than 8 so it will be 9 it will be reset to 0 so the next thing here I have an empty scene and to this scene I'm going to add the, the particle system so main scene that add the particle layer like so now let's run it so 
it starts just with the blank screen but when I spread when I press the space key it should play the first which is the fireworks so let's see it and yes it works now when I press the space key again it should play the explosion Of course, it plays uh, still the fireworks, so I'm going to add the for loop to remove. When I press the space key, it will remove the previous particle from the, la from the layer. So now it plays the fire, the flower, the sun. So yes, now it plays also the spiral. So everything is in one place. Also the meteor. So I'm just going to add here. So every time when the space key is pressed, I'm going to run a for loop. So for uh, p in so p in self that children children and the children are everything which we are adding to this layer to this particle layer so here we are not we are adding the cell that odd particle so we are looping through on the layers children and if you yeah, I'm just going to print it out first of all. So print p. So here. Now you can see it returns a tuple. And the tuples first in the first index is just a number of zero and in the second I mean, technically it is the index of, uh, 1 is the particle system, which is the fireworks. So the first we set it here. So to remove this particle system, we need to go p at index 1. So remember, at index 0 is the 0, so at index 1 is the particle system. Uh, dot kill. So call the kill method. And it will remove from the, from the layer this particle. So now when I run it, I'm going to just to rearrange a little bit it will play, play the fireworks and when I press it again it will remove or kill the fireworks and play the explosion particle oh, non-type object has no attribute kill, ok I need to recheck Save the children. So I'm going to just quickly uh, take a look why it is a non-type object of screen. Okay, I just didn't notice that I left here the print. <laughs> so delete this print statement and so p at index one dot kill so now let's play it and I'm going to move this like so so now it should play the fireworks and when I play the uh, I mean I press the uh, space key again it will remove the fireworks from the layer and it will uh, 
played Explosion. And now it will play the Fire. Now it should play the Flowers or the Flower. The Sun. The Spiral. These particle systems should be looking very nice in, in our game. And one of my favorite is this meteor. It looks very nice. Also the galaxy. And lastly the smoke particles. And when I press the space key again, it will reset the counter to zero, so it will start over with the fireworks. So, these are the already predefined particle systems, but you, you can create your own particle systems, of course, just by, if you go to the uh, particle systems source code you will see that all of these like the fireworks uh, the explosion are inheriting from the particle system and so if you are want to create a custom particle system you need to inherit from the particle system and just study research how it works so going to the particle system itself, it is a cocos node and it is a base class for many flavors of cocos particle systems. So okay. In the next video I'm just going to cover uh, basics of collision detections in Cocos 2D Python. So until then, have a nice day and thanks for watching.